let's take a look at this week's energy update here let's see it is this is for the week of today wednesday march 6th we're looking at the energy update for the week of today wednesday march 6th show me the energy update here energy update for the week of march 6th let's see gratitude Fill me with gratitude for all that you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. Now, this is something that the universe is wa wa wanting you to remember as you're going forward. Something has happened. For some of you, something has already happened. For others of you, it's about to happen. And the universe wants you to um, take this thought with you as you are moving forward into this energy. Let's see. That vibration of gratitude. Showing that. And, 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 and taking it for more reasons than one. And taking it as obviously as an acknowledgement of, of gratitude. But also taking it as a... The more that you do this, this is like engine fuel that keeps you in alignment with whatever has happened or whatever is about to happen continue to do that because it's, it's going to attract more to you there'll be more to come more to be grateful for more to show great gratitude for is what i'm getting here also and that may i be a vehicle for you wherever i go that's the energy of you despite it is is you walking your path despite whatever you're you're still walking your path you most definitely are in alignment with fate faded what is faded faith based energy like that you're being that vehicle wherever you go for whatever you believe in spiritual that's going to be individual and unique for all of you expansiveness yeah, because this is the prelude to it here. Eternity is far, is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhausted ego. It doesn't mean you like the path. It doesn't mean that whatever this gratitude is, remember, it is a beginning. It doesn't mean that this is the end, I'll be all to it. It means that it's a beginning. It's a part of that expansion. The more you're starting to show this, you're getting in alignment with the energy because there's more to come. Now, so is, is that, and you are able to set your ego aside a little bit in order to embrace this, or there's an understanding of that, that is also inclusive of your ego. It depends for all of you. It depends here. Let's see. This is expansiveness, the vibration of expansiveness, and this um, few that, in, in what infuse it what is driving it this energy of gratitude and some of you may say well i've shown gratitude before and, and it just stayed stuck or stayed whatever or it just went backwards well now is the energy of expansiveness is when it, it starts to crank and it as the motor start, continues to run as a mo as opposed to the motor cranking and then it just stops or sputters or stops this is actually moving you have reframe yeah this is happening for me, not to me. It goes back to what I was just stating about when you say, well, I was showing gratitude. I thought things were moving forward because things were looking up and then things went backwards and or they start to sputter. So the showing gratitude actually doesn't work. It's the, this is happening for me, not to me. It's just like when you're cranking up a car, especially an old when it, it starts to sputter and then it just turns off. And then if you get the right machinery for it or equipment, it or parts or whenever it's time or whatever happens or the right mechanic i don't know and then the car it cranks up and it continues to go okay this is you and the universe being in sync fate based as i mentioned mean divine timing and then things start to move smoothly that's why you're keeping this as the universe telling reminding you of this reminding you of it outrageous openness 
Dear love, open me to your will. Release me from my attachments. Surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed and I am open to receive. Now, outrageous openness. It goes back to me stating that, well, being in alignment with the faith-based energy and having to walk the path doesn't mean that you're always happy. You don't have to pretend to be either. It would be in that outrageous openness. That's a part of it. And also being open, receiving the plan and being true to the nature of what you're feeling within the plan like that. Okay. Is that, and remembering also here, this is happening for me, not to me. Well, you wish the universe would have told you that before. Okay. Maybe you would have had a different emotional response or maybe not, but that's what it is there. And that outrageous openness was just a part of it. That's what it is. Then you have individuality. Every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. Faith, miraculously, amazingly, everything I need always comes. Love is opening me to receive beyond anything I imagine. Now, this is, this love is between... You and whatever you believe in spiritually, you and yourself, I feel that it is a more per. I, I feel that it is a more um, per, uh, per love, divine love. And it states, when you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. Exactly. That's what it is. And it doesn't mean that you become religious or spiritual. It means that there's a deepening of the connection between you and whatever you believe in spiritually. Why? Because everybody has their own personalized study plan in the earth school, meaning that you have that one-on-one -on -one connection with what you believe in spiritually. That is unique to you and your individuality. Like that is not all encompassing. There's a very intimate connection. So it creates a, and when there's a very intimate connection, it creates that unity. It creates that um, purity of love. Even if it's you with yourself, you with your higher self, you with something outside of yourself, whatever is that. Also, because with this gratitude is also about um, showing gratitude to yourself because you are the one walking the path. You know, is that also here? And you have allowing radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment. So that what's needed can come next. That yes to reality part. It's not pretending that what is isn't. And that you're liking everything. And everything. No. It's reality like that. Just like the outrageous openness. Being true to the nature of the path. Being true to the nature of what you're experiencing. Being true to the nature of it. Because the energy that is being true transmuted to bring in a high vibrational experience has to be true also. You know, is is that so? It's radical acceptance, accepting it, don't be it temporary or whatever. Says yes to reality in any given moment. So what's needed can come next, and you don't go into well, what is reality? All that stuff. You go into whatever your experience is real for you. Okay, say yes to it. You're accepting it. You're true to the nature. The outrageous openness. Your individual path is about you independently and individually. Like that. And it does deepen that bond between you and yourself. You and what you believe in spiritually. You and your higher self. Whatever you want to call it. That's it. Allowing. Because when you say, well, what is reality? Or everything feels good. And this is spiritual. You're not allowing. When you say radical acceptance. Say, yes to reality. This is what I am experiencing. You are allowing. And you're accepting. So the energy can be transmuted and what is needed next can come. Is that worth? You have been worthy to belong to love all alone without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. Exactly. Now, there you go. Now we're going to move on. This is the energy update. 
I want to lay a secondary spread here with this spread. Let's see. Show me. So the reminder is the gratitude. And being true to the nature of your experiences. Let's see. True to the nature of your experiences. Because when you're true to the nature of your experiences, you're you're um, open to um, you're you're true to the nature of what the experiences are causing you to feel. That means you're open to the experiences. You're allowing, and it states ease. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. Okay. Some of you need to practice stating that. Okay. Because sometimes people can say, well, I'm open to receiving. I'm ready for it to come. Hell, where is it? It, it there, there could be something. If you're getting this card there and it's about receiving, maybe you, you're not as open as you think. Yeah, they're conscious of you could be open because you need to receive for this, this, and that. Like that. Are you, or is it easy for you to receive without there being a this, this, and that connected to it? Like that. It could be that. Are you actually a giver, but now you're in a position of needing to receive? It could be that. Are you the type of person that you're not really receiving? You're actually giving and you're getting something back. That's not receiving. That's an exchange. So sometimes you don't understand what receiving means like that. Maybe because you've never been on the receiving end of things. You may have been on the uh, receiving on the end of giving and receiving balance. So you're not really receiving. You're giving something in exchange. You never or you wanted to receive something because you had plans to do something with it. Well, you're not receiving it's not easy for you to receive. Receiving sometimes for a lot of people, which is what you never may have never experienced, you receive and you don't have anything to do with it. You're just receiving, receiving, receiving. Like that is that. So maybe you're not accustomed to receiving. Your angelic karma isn't. Not in that way, but it would be nice. It's easy for me to receive. Keep that in mind, universe, what your angelic karma just stated. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. Like the... Now let's move on. Love. Divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation. Only love itself. Exactly. No person, place, or thing is your salvation. Every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance, your inner compass, and divine source. Help me to know that all of my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. And I feel that this is a reminder because the universe has shown you this more than once. It's been multiple times. Okay. You know, and that's why that gratitude is the memory of gratitude, but also the universe showing you something that no person, place or thing is your salvation. And the universe is your source for all or your higher self is your source for all. However you want to see it. Whatever you want to call it is that. So let's see. Show me ease. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. Is it? Can you just get something and not have to give anything in return? Can you? A lot of you may be like me. You've never been in that position to be able to do that. So can you? Okay. Has that ever been offered to you? You know, so it might not be easy for you to receive, even though you may want something, but you're probably in the mentality of what you're going to give in return regarding it like that. Rightness. You're ready. Over ready. Experiencing, that's what you're doing. That's what you're here for on earth to experience. Nothingness, a clean slate, and you have it with receiving. Every day it becomes easier for me to receive the highest divine plan and to trust in my inner goddess. Let the universe write on this 
blank slate create experience new experience to put here because you're out of an experience something is ripe and you're ready to receive what the next part of the highest divine plan that's it creativity with divine source help me to know that all of my deepest needs will be met let me trust that you have a plan that the right actions will come you are my source for all the universe most definitely creative you are also being a um co can do it for the energy or can do it breakthrough there it is inner voice inner guidance inner voice inner guidance inner voice inner guidance flow and you going with that energy remember when i stated that you all you had no other choice but you, well you were walking the path you were allowing okay <laughs> yeah that'll be you don't let you let yet you liked it but you were allowing is that okay everyone that's the energy update for this week thanks for watching until next time bye